Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to set up Chrome Remote Desktop, which is currently in beta. What this program allows you to do is remote connect to another computer, whether it's on your local network or it's a friend on the other side of the world. You can remote connect to any machine that has this installed. It really is a fantastic program which Google are currently working on, but it runs absolutely fantastic and I do highly recommend you give it a try. To start off with, first you need to head on over to the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Before we do anything, you do need to sign into your Google Chrome account. To do this, you need to go to the top right hand corner and click up here where you can see my name is and you just need to press sign in. If you don't have an account, don't worry, it takes two seconds to create and it's completely free. Right, once you have signed in, you now need to click on Remote Access and you now need to press this download logo. You need to do this on the machine that you want to connect to. For example, at the minute I am on the computer that I am going to connect to and take control of. Once you have clicked on the download button, you now need to press Add Extension. And once it's finished adding the extension, we just need to wait for the file to download and we can now go ahead and press accept and install and go run. And what this is doing is it's now installing the Chrome Remote Desktop service to our machine, which means we don't actually need to have Google Chrome open to be able to access this computer, which I think that is fantastic, that's great. You now need to choose the name of your machine. I'm going to name this computer Home, but you can name it whatever you want. Once you have chosen the name you want to use, press Next, and we now need to type in a PIN. You will need this PIN to access the computer, so make sure you don't forget it, as it's really important. I'm going to go ahead and untick this option here as well, as I don't want to help improve Google Chrome Remote Desktop. And there we go, as you can see, my computer is currently online, which is correct because we are still using the home computer. I'm going to go ahead and jump onto my other computer now and we are going to remote connect in. And there we go, I'm now on my other PC and straight away, as you can see, there's the home computer that we just set up. You do need to go through the same setup to set up this PC to be able to connect to the other computer. I'm now going to go ahead and connect to the home PC just by simply clicking on it. And as you can see, it's now loading. I now need to type in my PIN number and then press the blue arrow and it will begin to connect. And there we go. As you can see, I'm now connected to that computer. If I just minimize the web browser, Straight away, you can see there's the desktop, which is great. Everything's working absolutely fine. And it really is as easy as that. If we now go back to our main remote desktop page, we can go across to remote support. And this is where I was saying at the start, you can have a friend from no matter where he is, if he isn't on your local area network, you can have him still connect to your computer by simply generating a code. And once you have generated the code, you can simply copy that code and then he can paste it in the give support section and then press connect. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.